In 2012, a proposal was made for the Orlando area. This would soon be the Orlando Skyplex. This would be a hotel all-inclusive with the world's tallest coaster at 570 feet. It would be an attraction that would attract coaster enthusiasts from around the globe to ride. But fortunately, after eight years, this has never happened. For dates being pushed back for the place to open, nothing has broken ground yet. This is the story of the Orlando Skyplex and how it has never happened and will never happen in the future. In 2012, the Orlando Skyplex was a planned idea made by the Nawala Holding LLC Corporation. It was scheduled to open in 2017 originally, and was an idea in 2012. Construction would soon begin in 2014, and would be an all-inclusive resort with a hotel, shopping area, entertainment district, and with its signature attraction, the polar coaster stretching over the sky at 570 feet, 600 feet in total for the entire structure, but with the coaster wrapping around in a large restaurant and observation tower on top of the building. This idea was ambitious and costly considering the whole thing was over $250 million and would take over a 14 acre base of land. I would try to begin at the end of 2014, but on December 1st, 2001, Universal filed a report to prevent the area to being developed. Universal complained that the structure being built would ruin the effect of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Because of this, the Universal would do a lawsuit to prevent uh, this thing from being built. So if this backlash, uh, the actual site would be on hold from being constructed, and the Orlando Skyplex would not go and would not be planned to open in 2017. The company would try to resume construction, but they were facing an even bigger issue from Universal trying to prevent this resort from being built. It was the fact that they were running out of capital. This ambitious design of $250 million no, would not come easy, and their investors were not getting happy with this progress. So, after running out of capital, they couldn't continue with construction no, or do anything at this moment. They had to try to pass this in the era to actually get this thing built. Sadly, after this, the Wallach Holding LLC Corporation couldn't do anything about it. Now, a few years passed, and construction has, hasn't taken any site for this. The polar coaster would just be an idea over the internet that wouldn't happen at all. This ride is truly an ambitious design now that would attract tourists from around the globe to see and experience. With the Orlando area with a high tourism, this ride hopefully proves successful, but sadly nothing proven that this thing will actually be built. Even with nothing happening, the Wallach Holding Corporation though, wouldn't do anything about it. They would keep pushing the date back for when they believe this thing will actually open. Currently now, in November 2019, they're saying this thing will open in 2020. Nothing has happened yet by the end of the year, and is definitely not going to be on schedule to open in 2020. So this whole Orlando Skyplex thing doesn't seem like anything that's ever going to happen. This just seems like something like... American Dream Mall of the Nickelodeon Universe. That was a project that was having a lot of problems and delays and loss of capital over the last 22 years trying to build. So the Orlando Skyplex could be an idea that may not happen for a very long time, or maybe not even ever in Orlando. While holding a corporation that now, may have to abandon the project because they don't have any investors left willing to continue investing in this project. Now, along with Universal still trying to keep them from building this so they can maintain their quality status. The idea of the polar coaster, a 570 foot ride now, with a drop tower on the side of it, along with a restaurant observation at the top, may not be something that'll happen. I mean, sure, you can think that another park will probably want to build this in the future but it doesn't seem very likely so we don't really know who can build the polar coaster keep in mind that they just said they're building a coaster at this height we don't actually know any manufacturer they never mentioned a manufacturer who'd be building this they just said we have this ambitious idea to do something like this they didn't actually specify who would be building this even if we did know I doubt a park, something like people have been saying Cedar Point. I don't know why. I don't think that's happening because looking at this price tech of $250 million, I mean, obviously a lot of that because they were building all the stuff around it with the hotel, the attractions they were planning to build. Uh, but something this size, this is a, basically a full-on building with a roller coaster wrapping around it. I guess I would say it's about $75 million. I mean, I'm not really sure how much this thing would actually cost, but this thing just doesn't seem like something that would be cost-effective for, uh, for a park to buy. It would have to be built by a major corporation, be willing to invest something this heavily in, in a project to do this. So the polar coaster, it may not happen in the future. It's sad that Orlando no, won't be getting another standout in the area. It's safe to say that with all these delays and nothing actually breaking ground, 
in the Orlando Skyplex area. I could say this definitely isn't going to happen in the future. So that is just my take on the Orlando Skyplex. Uh, comment down below on what you think about how this ride has been an ambition for over eight years and do you think it would ever happen? If you haven't subscribed, subscribe down below uh, so I could keep continuing to make content like this. Uh, and like, comment, subscribe, and, and I'll see you all in the next one.